Hi, how's it going? This is Scott Allen. I'm from Scott Allen's Electric Guitar Personal Training, and I'm going to break down Carol of the Bells, uh, which of course is a classic Christmas song. Kind of my take on it's going to be the Transcendent Orchestra version of this. Now the big key to getting this down is understanding the scales that this is coming from. This is in the key of G major, this is at least the way I'm doing it. And the scales that are primarily being used are going to be these three positions of the G major scale, starting fifth position. <laughs> then go on to the fourth, uh, sorry, seventh position, eighth position, and that's pretty much the scales that are being used. The beginning melody is actually going to be based off that same pattern, what I would call pattern three scale. It's basically a G major scale in fifth position. Start with your second finger at the eighth fret, and it goes eight, seven, nine. So I should say eight, seven, eight, nine. In the next part, we're going to be shifting to the next position higher. This is going to be the G major scale starting in seventh position. Here's the pattern. And we're going to do a little pedal tone. This is very kind of classical. Position wise, we're going uh, 12, 10, 8, and it goes pinky, second, pinky, first. So you combine those two parts, you have the first section. You go to the one with the pedal. We stay in the same position, the next little melody part goes. So our pinky starting in the 12th fret, it goes pinky, basically three times, and then 10, 8, 12 twice, and then 10, 8, back to 10, 12, 10, 9, 9. But if you think of it as a scale run, it actually makes it easier. If you can kind of visualize the scale it's in. So combine those three parts, you have there's part one, part two, and then the next part is going to the G major scale starting in the eighth position. Here's the scale pattern. And we're more or less just doing a scale run. It goes. So you're basically starting at the ninth fret on the D string and you're walking up 9, 10, 12. 9, 11, 12 on the G string, and then you go 10, 12, back to 10, back to 12. But you really just, again, do a kind of a scale run. And you do this a few times. Then it basically does uh, the beginning part of that twice before doing the same run again. And then we finish up back on the main melody. Just clock it through again. You have the main melody, secondary melody going 12, 10, 8. A little uh, pattern, or not pattern, sorry, eight. in the seventh position, G major run. A little eighth position, G major scale run. And then back to the original melody. This is a great example of how like knowing your scales makes it something like this so much easier. If you can just visualize the scale pattern 
in the notes are right in the scale pattern, particularly the very end part, this run. It's more or less just a straight scale run. So if you know the pattern already, it just, you know, most of the work is already done for you, which is what we want. All right, hope you enjoy that. Have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for checking out this video. Oh, mm -hmm.